So what's up Freedom Foods family and welcome back to the channel. Uh, saga continues, always something new going wrong, something new going happening. Um, yesterday, or two days ago now, um, I came out here and Betty was down. Our lead cow Betty, she was not doing good at all. Had to call friends again and we were actually able to get her up. Not easy, came out later on that day and uh, I had to get her up and I was able to get her up by myself and then uh, she's improving, improving. And I don't know exactly what was wrong, but it's not, obviously, not good. I shot her up with uh, some antibiotics, um, gave her some uh, uh, electrolyte boost, and she seems to be doing better. So she's uh, laying down right now. We're gonna see, make sure both her and Joe can get up on their own. Okay, good girl, get up. Yeah, you got it, you got it, good girl. All right, Joe, your turn too. Okay, Joe's doing better. Come on. Yeah, buddy, you gotta move for me, okay? Good girl, good girl. Come on, good girl. Joe, your turn. Can you get up, get up for me? Come on, bud, come on. Okay, come on, okay, here we go. Come on, get up, there we go. You got it. See, okay, you can get up on your own. You just don't wanna get up. Huh, baby, okay. You're looking a little bit, you're looking better. She was, she got skinny overnight, like real skinny overnight. And I, that's, that was concerning to me. So we're getting her taken care of. I think, uh, I think, okay, she's peeing, see? Okay, well, if you guys wanna see that, there we go. Thanks, Betty. Don't look like that because when she pees, she looks skinny. You, you decided to pee too? Yeah, you decided to pee too. Okay, well, that, that's a good sign because that means that everything's working so I like that but today we're gonna um, we're gonna shoot Betty up with her second round of antibiotics and uh, let me show you a little bit of a the one of the issues that people have with longhorns and when they when there's an issue uh, how do you work them because let's see here's a normal cattle shoot right here and uh, here's Betty's face do you see a problem? Yeah, she can't fit in there because of those horns. But it's not a big deal because uh, I have a way that I can still work her and pen her up and uh, kind of just keep her steady without having to put her into without having to put her into the cattle chute. Now I'm gonna go get the medicine and everything. I'm gonna show you how to do that because. If people with longhorns, you might want to consider this kind of setup rather than some big cage contraption thing that's really expensive and not the easiest to get in and out of. This, this really works. All right, now let me show you how I'm going to do this. See, I need Joe out of here. And this pipe here is actually really key. Because this pipe, what I'm going to do, hopefully I can do it with one hand while you guys are watching. Yeah, I can. This pipe is actually going to go right here. Okay, actually, it can't yet. This is going to go right here for now. Because what we're going to do is we're going to clear them out, and this sweep here, this sweep is awesome, especially for the long ones. Watch out, Betty. Come on, Joe, come on. Go, go, move, move. Move. Rubs a little bit, but does the job. So now, watch out. We're actually gonna use the sweep as the chute. Go like that, hold it in. Now Betty, I need you, not Joe. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, you know the drill. Okay. Good girl. Now, what we're going to do is get the sweep. And actually, hang on. We're going to trap her in the sweep. Can you turn the other Yeah, turn that way for me. It'd be even much easier. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Easy. 
Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Easy. I know. I know. You don't like it. It's okay. Okay, see, look. You can go like this. And now she's caught. Hang on. Easy. 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 Don't. Don't mess around. Okay? Hang on. Okay, what I'm going to do... Take this pole. We're going to put it right here. She can't really go forward. Okay? Now, this is an antibiotic. It's uh, LA300. This stuff is very good. I've, I've actually only used it on Betty. Now we're going to break this up into two shots. And since she's facing this way this time, it's a very good thing because we want to give the shots on either side. So last time it was on the other side. This time, it's on this side. Now I'm not an expert at this at all. Well, we figured it out. Okay, baby. In her hip. Easy. Easy, we got it, we got it. There we go, there's one. And then you wanna rub it so it doesn't turn into a knot. There we go. So you give her half. At least that's what I was told to do. And what's worked for me in the past. Then you give her the other half. Come on. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Okay. Now we can give her the other half. Easy girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. 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 All, you're all done. You're all done. I promise. All done. And then we're done. So I needless to say, I'm very happy with how this works out. And I'm not putting any, any kind of real pressure on her. You didn't see her freak out at all. Because now I move the, the, po the pole. And she can move forward, but she doesn't want to move forward. And we'll open up the sweep and let her out. All right, baby, come on. It's okay. It's okay. You gotta go faster where it grabs. Right here. Let's have her walk out. See, good girl. That's my good girl. You're doing better. You're doing so much better. Good girl. Then, Close this back up. The reason why we close this back up is because a calf could get in here, walk through this, and if that head gate's not closed, these out into the pasture through the, the lane. So Betty's a lot better, so is Joe. They're getting up on their own. Um, they've gotten, she's gotten her medicine, he got his electrolytes. I didn't feel like because of how he got stuck, I didn't think that he needed a um, antibiotic and I will avoid them at all costs but when they when I feel like they need them they need them and I think I'm comfortable enough to let them back with the herd because that'll help keep them because that'll help keep them calm when they're with their friends because I don't care what anybody says yes cows have friends and when they're with their friends they're a lot calmer go ahead baby and she is the lead cow so this is her herd so she can come out you want to come out it's okay you want to come out and joe's got his cat buddies here we go good girl see look at that we're better what you want to go out too you can go out too just don't be stupid okay no more trying to reach under fences you got plenty of hay you got plenty of everything They've been pooping, they've been peeing. They're getting up on their own. Had to help him a little bit today because I think he was just being lazy. And now they got a nice big bale of hay. See, look, that's Yoli, that's Betty's best friend. She's gonna go straight over to her. 
she's either gonna go straight over to her or the hay and uh, deuces, deuces deuces doing great and look she's gonna go eat she's gonna go eat and pushing sheep around telling her that yeah even though he's gone for a little bit I'm still the boss so it's been a stressful few days with the cows um, but I think we're we think we're gonna be okay I think everybody's gonna be okay um, Betty was the one I was actually more concerned about, even though Joe was unconscious when I found him, but I was able to bring him back quickly. Quickly, It's the problem is that you can't leave a cow down for too long. And Betty's like 1,100 pounds. She's a big, she's probably the biggest cow. Uh, the only one bigger than her is probably Jordan right now. Um, she's not light. And uh, I couldn't, the, the, when I found her, she was on her side, and I had to a, a drag her out of uh, kind of the muddy area. And I tried getting her up by herself, by myself, and um, I got her back legs up, but I couldn't get her to get her front legs underneath her. So I had to call um, my friends that helped me with Joe. They're like, another one? I went, yeah. Um, so they, uh, they came over, really nice, came, helped me. Uh, we got her up in the back, and then I got underneath her head, put her shoulder, or put my shoulder right underneath like her chest, <laughs> And I just lifted, and sure enough, she got up and she started walking around. We walked her down here um, into this, uh, if you want to call it hospital pen, recovery pen, and she's doing better. But the good news is, is that even though this is still February, it's almost March, it's almost March, um, we, we're having grass grow up pretty quickly. I mean, Nugget's out again, I'll go get him in a little bit. I need to patch that hole. But we have, we have grass, we have some grass. And I think, very shortly, we'll be moving again, and then we can put all this, uh, we can put all this, this drought, we can put this whole craziness behind us, and uh, onward. But I just want to make this video to give somebody an idea on uh, what I think is the best way to, you know, pin up a longhorn, because, look, that, you know, her horns are out to here. She's not going to get through that. That, that that's you're gonna have more problems getting her in there and then if she gets stuck uh, that's that's not a good situation so just the sweep pen her up put a bar and uh, no problems no problems at all that's how we've done it with any cow that we need to even look at and stress-free no hooting and hollering no cows trying to you know bust their way out no no nothing very Easy, stress-free on you, stress-free on the animal, and we're good. So, probably a shorter video today, but I think it's necessary. So with that, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm, and drop a comment if you like. All right, till next time. This one's really bad. There we go. See ya.